So if you guys have been struggling with um, any kind of audio distortion on a speaker uh, and it's sort of like a hum or a buzz or a click or a pop, then uh, you know how do you troubleshoot that? What do you what do you need to do? So that's the problem I had recently uh, with the uh, Ford Everest or the Ford Endeavor in some markets. And uh, so what we have here at the back is a subwoofer, um, and that's for a little amplifier. And this thing was making a really irritating humming, buzzing sound uh, that was sort of drowning out the the rest of the music in the car. And so what I needed to do was, uh, you know, take this whole panel, panel apart here. And um, I can tell you what, it was not an easy job. So there's the panel on the floor. This entire panel had to be removed. Okay. So what I did was I started off here. There's a little, uh, little coat hook. And so I removed the coat hook that was there, and then I popped off the, the panels. Uh, next thing I did was I popped off the back um, sort of uh, protection cover here that goes clips onto the onto the back of the car over here. Okay, so I removed that. The next thing I did was I removed. Um, there is a. Um, a uh, hook over there that I had to remove as well in order to get the whole panel off and then obviously moving down there um, I had to take the seat belt uh, see the one anchor point for the seat belt off and once I'd done all of that uh, these clips over here would actually just pop off um, and so it'll all just pop off and then yeah then you could sort of twist the whole panel out of the car here just mindful that would hook under here as well but you can just get the whole panel out be mindful also to disconnect the rear 12 volt point uh, cigarette lighter point uh, if that's what they still call it all right then you can get in there um, and then I had a look here and I couldn't really see what the problem was and what it was actually was these these connectors here if you look inside of them and I'll show you some pictures in the in the video here and here and and what you have then is uh, corrosion so there's a little bit of corrosion on those points so now I don't I don't know why there's corrosion on those points that's uh, pretty pretty weird um, it doesn't seem like there's any moisture that gets in here um, yeah it's just strange so what I did is I took a little bit of sandpaper very fine sandpaper and then I just sanded the little points um, points down just so they can make sure that there's no more corrosion or that um, that uh, residue on there and then I took a little bit of uh, you know you can take Q20 spark anything anything like that displaces moisture and then I sprayed it inside of the contact points uh, and once you've done that uh, you know plug it all back in and give it a test and I can tell you now it works perfectly there's not a distortion a crack a pop anything and I think so this is for the Ford Endeavor but this could or Ford Everest but this could be for any any car any uh, any vehicle that you might have a, an issue with so yeah, I just thought I'd share this with you guys because it uh, would have been a real problem. Would have had to maybe take it to the dealer and, you know, who knows what they would have done. Um, I see that on the ownership of this vehicle throughout its warranty period, the whole unit was replaced. Um, and that obviously didn't do the trick because you can replace, you know, the whole, this whole rear subwoofer unit was, was replaced under warranty. But... It wouldn't have solved the problem because these contact points inside of here these plugs remain the same so what you have is you have corrosion that you know sort of re-corrodes the, the the amplifier point so yeah that that didn't solve the problem so putting some water displacement moisture displacement um stuff like this uh would really you know go away go to alleviating that that corrosion but stop the corrosion 
um, and then give it a good contact point again. So, yeah, um, hope this helps. Till next time.